up, peeps? Today is an adventureful day. Adventureful. Oh. I love that. <laughs> is it even a word? Full of adventure. Let's say it's a word. <laughs> Bye. Ready? <laughs> kayaking at the loop. It's just a very unique experience. When else can you do something like that? So here we are. Uh oh, oh my god, a mouse crash. Uh -oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I find this very interesting. Like the loop is extremely bright, white, pristine, and clean. These guys are here scrubbing it in the water. They're on like a little rafter type thing and they're here working. That's awesome to see how they legitimately maintain the building. Wow, that backdrop looks crazy. After the hike, we're going inside the loop. That was nice. And um, Stacia taught me about something called earthing. I mean, I thought it was called grounding, but you walk on the ground barefoot. And it's Hi. You can call them both. Hello. Thank you yeah, so everything much. are grounding, but it's Thanks good. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. They are so sweet. Okay. Everybody's so friendly here. Seriously. We're going to the Louvre. From the looks of it, doesn't look like they have a dress code, but we kind of thought they did. But regardless, later on we have to cover up. So I have like this outfit that I tried to modernize it's a, a bit. Outfit. Thank you. Anyway, we're going in time. Love is love. Love is love. Adi yo. Guys, isn't that the cutest thing? Look at this old man taking the picture of his wife. That's so cute. Aww. Love is love. I found the most interesting. This is really interesting to me. This is from 1542, back in the day. Look at this guy, he's got a chin strap. That was, <laughs> she's cracking up. <laughs> I've been saying stuff that she's like dying laughing at. No, but, but see, he has a chin strap. This is like back in style, well, kind of. Yeah, that's great, look at that. Wow. He also has a pretty dope fade or what? Yeah. <laughs> He's got a dope fade. <laughs> All right, well, this is pretty cool too because I do like seeing the night stuff. It's sheet metal, mineral, vegetable, and spices that make up the colors in here. It actually smells like spices. Do you smell that? This is what I came here for. I think you guys probably know I've said this like many times in videos. I love beautiful architecture and this is like absolutely stunning the way that this building was made. But I, I love this part. Like the most beautiful, I mean, there's million, like tons of spots to stand here and get a beautiful shot. Yeah. They just took the most amazing shot of me. Yay. And I was like, <laughs> well, what was your favorite piece of art in the whole museum? Me? <laughs> I was my favorite, I was the favorite part of the museum art. She made a really pretty piece of art of me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so conceited. You guys know I'm not conceited at all, but that was funny. <laughs> Look at this, oh, it's a good shot too. Also, how do you feel about this? Like, when I go to museums, I feel like, let me know what you guys think too. Sometimes it makes me want to try to paint because I see stuff and I'm like, and I don't want to, this is not disrespectful to people who are painting and artists, but I feel like I'm, I really want to try. You're gonna say you can, that looks easy, I could do this, weren't you? Yeah, but like, <laughs> doesn't it feel like you can do it maybe? Or like, have a decent attempt at making some art that could look like it belongs in a museum based off of some of the things that you see in the museum. Ryan says this Like all if the you time. just take paint and you're like bark, 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 bark. like I bet you I would do something pretty decent. You should. Like kids too. Kids would probably make some really cool just art. Splatter it. Little babies. I 
just like determined to find. I knew there were two outdoor spaces. So if you do come here, there's two. This, I believe might be called the terrace section of it. It's hard to figure it out though. And they have like this nice handwriting here. I'll flip the screen. It's all different languages. I'm not sure what it says, but I like this. Hashtag, I wanted to see one of those. I am so excited for lunch. Look how gorgeous this place is. It's like right up my alley. Oh my God. All right, just look at the vibes in this bathroom. This is like a hand painted sink. That's the coolest sink I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God, I love it. That looks so good. Thank you so much. This food is amazing. All I ate was this so far. Yeah. And it's so, the bread, the dough. I, I'm in love with this place. It's a Lebanese restaurant. It's one of the best restaurants I've ever been to, like I think in my life. Just eating that. Just look at the chairs. I love everything about this place. It's so pretty. <laughs> Every single chair has like a pretty different color and pattern. It's like so Instagrammable in here. Look at the chandeliers, like made up, they're grapes. So I sat next to Stacia because we're on to our dessert and, and we need to sit together and figure out what we're gonna And Jen's like, we have to get two or three. <laughs> because it looks so, you know how I am with my dessert. I need my desserts, I need them. First, my colleague said you would do it. This is like, it's randomly happened. They came with the dessert. So he's gonna teach me how to do it and I'm allowed to do it. It's almost like a guacamole that you make, but it's dessert and you make it in, in this. Sermer. It was amazing. Like, no joke. I, I loved that whole experience. It was so cool. Here we are on the beach. It's the Sadiat Beach. To be honest, I didn't know that Abu Dhabi had this type of a feel to it, this vibe. There's like a, a lot of really nice looking like stores and restaurants here. If you ever want to come here, you saw the vibes. We had an amazing time. This is one of the most important things that I wanted to come to while visiting Abu Dhabi. It is called the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque and it is right here. Insane, right? The architecture of this building, there's no words for it. I'm really, really excited to be here and we're gonna just go inside and explore some more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> really want to encourage you guys to take a moment to pause through this portion of the video, look at everything carefully and the details of the building because it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at all of that. so long the sun has set it's about to be dark and it's nice because the mosque changes at night and it has these blue lights that illuminate the building even more across the street there's another site that we're about to go to oh, we made it this was a huge journey but 
this was the view I was craving. So I'm gonna give it to you. It almost feels like a nightclub in here. 